Welcome to the Black Gay History Channel. Please share this video and subscribe to this channel for more captivating content. I had the honor of friends taking me out to Black Gay Pride in Atlanta on Labor Day weekend in the mid-2000s, and though at that point I had been to several gay clubs in the South, Trax was by far the biggest. Trax was a sprawling massive space with several large dance floors that could house hundreds of people. That year, the R&B girl group Danity Kane was performing on the main stage, but one of the members was not with them, which was dramatic tea of the time, of course. Since it was Pride weekend, everyone was dressed to the nines. There was incredible J-set squads battling in one room, and the Vogers and House and Ball crew was battling in another space. And if you wanted to just shake your ass on a massive dance floor, there was room for that too. I would later find out that Trax was the premier gay club in Atlanta for many years, and since Atlanta has been considered a sanctuary city for the black LGBTQ community in America for decades now, that would make Trax one of the premier gay clubs in the U.S. I found interesting articles and interviews in the Georgia Voice and on the YouTube channel The Zactivist with the owner and founder of Trax, Philip Boone, who opened this landmark gay club. Boone opened Trax's doors in 1989 after sensing that the black gay community in Atlanta needed more spaces to connect and celebrate. He opened Trax's doors with black gay people in mind. Though the venue that is Trax moved physical spaces throughout the years, many of the club spaces, especially the one I attended, were huge. And in interviews, landmark black gay entrepreneur and activist Philip Boone name-checked incredibly talented pop icons that came through and performed or partied at Trax throughout the years, including stars like Mary J. Blige, Tupac, Ludacris, Deion Sanders, and Evander Holyfield. Philip Boone also knew the importance of collaborating with integral Atlanta nonprofits working for people living with HIV and AIDS in the 1990s, distributing condoms, and promoting HIV testing at the clubs. Eventually, tracks would branch off into tracks of girls' nights that specifically catered to lesbians and same gender loving women. The landscape for black gay clubs has changed in recent years, and in 2022, tracks officially closed doors as the black gay venue it was but now may host occasional events. I would not be surprised though if in some way, shape, or form Trax comes back into circulation or reopens in some way. If anything, particularly TV shows and movies have shown us in the past few years with the right advertisement campaign and enough public interest, anything can get rebooted for a new generation. And maybe in a different economy and cultural shift, gay dance clubs will see more traction. Either way, Trax has an epic history and treasured memories many black folk in the U.S. and the world hold dear to our hearts.